Jasmine, Shrishti. Shh, I'm telling you a secret. Mother's Day is coming and I'm making a card for my mother. Don't tell her, please. Let's read a story about Mother's Day. The Night Before Mother's Day by Natasha Wing Illustrated by Amy Wama Twas the night before Mother's Day when, as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals would soon be there. Then, out in the yard, there arose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go, girl, her friend shouted real loud. So mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen, we flew like a flash, as if we were running a 100-yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops, way too much splatter. We made fancy cards, adding our I love yous and a special coupon that mom sure could use. When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What did I miss? She asked. Nothing, dad said with a wink. We children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of mom danced in our heads. The next morning, we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day! She read both of our cards and, after wiping her eyes, said, A private spa session. What a lovely surprise! We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders. We massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair. Then we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. I painted her nails. What glittery fun! A top coat of polish, voila, manicure done. Dad said, the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So Mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took our seats at the table, behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but the perfect model for Mother of the Year. Her eyes, how they sparkled, her brown hair, how curly, her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not a boast. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. Hope you liked the story, friends, and hope you have planned something Great for your fantastic mothers. Hope you like the story, friends. If you like the story, please like, subscribe and share. Bye!